Hello friends, today we are going to learn how to create dynamic link library in the Ubuntu platform, how to use this dynamic link library, how to refer it and call the functions in the main program from this DLL library. First, let's create a simple program which prints hello world message in C sharp. For that, I'll create a file first dot cs. Let's create a folder. C sharp for IITP let's go to this folder now I'm going to create file first uh, let's call this file as a main program dot cs in this program we will create a public class let's call it as a main class let's provide a public static void main main method and let's display hello world message For compiling C# program in Ubuntu, we have a mono compiler. You can install this mono compiler using command or it will install mono compiler on your computer using which you can compile C# programs in the Ubuntu platform. Now for compiling, the compiler is already installed in my computer, so I can use this command to compile my program. It means the program is successfully compiled. Now if I check my directory, we can find that a main program.exe file is generated. Now to execute this file, I have to type mono space main program.exe. Here the output is generated. Now the first step of my application, my video is achieved that creating a simple program which displays hello world message. The technology that we that is used is a mono compiler which simulates .NET C# -sharp environment in Linux platform. Now the target is generate or create a dynamic link library that is a DLL file of a .NET framework and refer it into our main program and call the functions in the DLL file. For that, let's create a DLL file. Let's call it as a library.cs. CS stands for C sharp. Now I'm creating a library file in which I'll write the uh, code which is supposed to be the part of dynamic link library. Now in this library, I'll create a public class. Let's call it as a library. In this class, I'm going to create a function public int add. This function will return addition of two numbers a and b, which will be passed as an argument integer a my integer p. So this is a simple library in which I am creating a function add which is simply returning addition of two integer values a and b. Now let's save this file. We have library.cs file created. Now compilation process changes here. If I compile my library program.cs it says that it do not have a static main method. Now 
I cannot compile this library dot cs program where we are trying to generate a dot exe file. Hyphen t colon sorry. Here I am specifying that hyphen t stands for a target. By default, this target is a exe. Now I am changing this target to library. Exe in the sense executable. By default, this target is executable. I am changing it to the library. Now I'm going to pass my library.cs file and the program is compiled. Now let's see what has been generated. Here you can see that we have a library.dll file. This dll stands for a dynamic link library. The change in this is my main program.cs file holds a main method so I can compile it simply by writing gmcs mono.cs whereas my library.cs file do not have main method so I cannot create a library.exe. So I am changing the target of my gmcs compiler to a library and after compiling after executing this command successfully it is generating a library.dll file dynamic link library. Now let's refer this dynamic link library into our main program. We have one .exe file that is a main program, one .dll file that is a dynamic link library. Now I am going to edit my main program to refer this dynamic link library function declared in a dynamic link library class. So we have to edit our program main.cs in the main method after this hello world message let's create object of class library which is declared in a library.dll file let's call the object as obj new library and call the method dot add let's pass two numbers to comma five and as this method is returning a result we will pass it to the system dot console dot right line. Now this is supposed to display the output 5 plus 2 7 on the screen. Here we can clearly see that the library class is not part of this main class. So we have to provide a reference to the main class while compiling this program. A reference to the DLL file let's save it now if i try to compile our program gmcs main program dot cs it will definitely fail and will tell me that cannot find namespace library it is happening because namespace library is defined inside library dot dll and this command is having no reference how where to find this library dot dll file let's change our command gmcs hyphen r, r stands for refer, I want to refer library dot dll file while compiling main program dot cs. Compilation is successful. Now let's see what has been generated. Now again I have a main program dot exe. Let's check whether it executes or not. Now we know we have to use a mono dot exe and here we can see that we have seven displayed on the screen and the hello world message is also displayed thank you in the next video we will see how to modify this dynamic link library and use it on our main program thank you